yeah, my, my current place of employment, the place that I've been working for the last over five years, it, I think it's the only job that I've ever had that, like, makes me seriously, like, literally want to commit. Neck rope. I mean, it's, I, I, that's what I fantasize about while I'm at work. That That's what I... I'm, I make jokes about. I make like all kinds of like drinking Korox. You know, I was I was training some some new some new people today, and I was showing them the break room and the drink machine. And I was like, unfortunately, uh, we don't have diet Korox in the drink machine. You know, I I make jokes like that a lot. Oh, oh, I got jokes. Knock knock. Who's there? Christopher. Christopher who? Walking. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Robert. Robert who? De Niro. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Joe. Joe who? Pesci. Knock, knock. Oh, my God. Who's there? Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, you've heard this one before? Oh, my God. Say knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? What? What who? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Greetings, good people of the interweb. It is I, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that Satan and I may not necessarily get along or see eye to eye, but there is one thing we can certainly agree upon. Damien Blackheart is a really great guy, and The Moral Misanthrope is one of the best channels on YouTube. So, accept him into your heart and subscribe. Blessed be. Jesus. Okay, so this. This right here is another reason that I hate my job so much. Aside from the weird, ridiculous, hellish hours and just the mental and emotional strain and stress and physical uh, might as well and financial <laughs> just throw it all fucking out there um, but yeah the there's a new ginger video uh, I've been at work all day you know I, I could have been home reacting to this and editing it and making it a spectacular fucking presentation but, uh, no, uh, I'm just now getting to it, and I have to be in bed in, like, two and a half hours, so, like, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna, am I, am I just, am I just gonna throw it up raw, or am I gonna do some editing on it and try to make it an experience? Am I gonna post it today? Am I gonna post it tomorrow? Like, I don't, I don't know. If you're watching this now... Currently, I am recording uh, at 5.20 p.m. Friday, August 23rd. The year is 2019. And I don't know why I felt necessary to say... Anyway, point being, my lips are touching the, the microphone. Um, I, I've had a day... And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I did make a lot of really awesome uh, suicidal chokes at work today. It was great fun. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just, we're just going to jump into this ginger video. And whatever happens, happens. But either way, we're going to have a good time. Because I, I, I want to have a good time. Because I'm sad inside. I'm, I'm dead inside, but I'm sad on the outside. <laughs> but no, seriously, here we go. We're going to jump into this. Ginger.
Gate, he's doing it. He's fucking pausing the damn video. Okay, so that, that little opening sequence... I mean, it was cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I liked it. And then with, with a little flash with her eyes and like the pan around the room and seeing the little figures, but just, you know, him coming into the... It was like something straight out of like Charmed or uh, Lost Girl. If any of you have seen Lost Girl, you know what I mean. It's I love that show. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I've binge watched all the seasons all the way through twice what is my life um yeah so anyway I, I already 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 know I, I've already got it figured out just from the little flash in her eyes she takes his hand welcomes him in he doesn't, he doesn't even know where he is he's looking around the room there's all these little teeny men I mean come on Th those were former people in his position obviously we came from the lands where kindness equals weakness. Feelings are conditional, and help is something supernatural. Your judgment, son, your own punishment. Your judgment. All right, all right. So from that, you know, that first the the, the intro, you know, music, you know, it was. Uh, I, I don't want to say typical ginger because that that I don't think there's really any such thing, but it was a uh, an unmistakable, a very identifiable ginger sound, like. You, you wouldn't hear that intro and think of any other band. Like, you hear that intro and you're like, that is Ginger. They have a distinct sound, even though it's not like... I, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. They, and Everything may not sound the same, but it, it is a distinct sound regardless. But anyway, it goes from that into this reggae vibe. Like, just straight up reggae. You know, and the queens are great. You know, the the whole the the cadence, everything about it is beautiful. Um, and and that's coming from someone who does not enjoy reggae. You know, I'm I'm sorry, no offense to all the people who may really enjoy or love reggae. I am not a fan of reggae. Uh, I just I can't get into it. Uh, most music that is happy, or you know, just. Uh, Something about it just irks me. So it's hard for me to listen to. But if done right, sometimes I can appreciate it. Every now and again, I might hear a reggae song or like a classic reggae song. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I actually I like this song. And I don't know why. Um, but during that sequence, like, just seeing the, the, the jump shots... Of her, I mean, she's obviously she's picking all the uh, you know necessary herbs and things she needs to do her working. She's obviously uh, like a gypsy witch or something, you know. I mean, in, in that area of, of you know like that whole area, like you know Ukraine, Bulgaria, Romania, that that whole area, um, you know, gypsies are, are a huge thing, and you know, gypsies who practice magic. Uh, I, I just made that up. I don't know if that's a real thing. I know gypsies are. And I know that there's some there's some crazy gypsy stuff going on in Bulgaria. I'm assuming. I don't know that for sure. I just came up with that again. I, I've heard things. I don't, I don't know if they're true or not. I'm just speculating. But and, and she's a witch. She's a practitioner. She's, she's a gypsy. She's... She's doing magic on this guy. I don't know the backstory, but clearly she's about to fuck his whole world up and he just don't even know it. 
he thinks he's about to get some action, and the only action he is going to get is going to be some <laughs> I love the coloration of all of this. Like, whoo! Just the action going, the lighting, the lighting, and and the the color palette they chose to kind of set the scene, the 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 contrast of colors. It, it's it's kind of soft and dulled, but like really boldly cinematic at the same time if that makes sense it is uh i mean it, this, this is like almost a, a modern day <laughs> reanimator in, in a sense um i don't i don't know i'm just the every time she's like doing her fucking thing and she's got this shit going on and just the way everything is set with the light behind her, you know, just her outfit, her eyes, whatever she's working with, the the way everything is lit is perfect, and it the way everything is just lit. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Okay, so the thing she did with her hands just a second ago and her, the face she made and she did her hand, that was kind of like in the ape video. That's like a thing for her, I think. I don't know why I like that so much. Stay. That. Don't bother, brother. Okay, I really, I like the overall, the tempo of this song so far. I mean, this, the, there of course was that one section with the, the blast beats and everything was like pretty chaotic, but it was still at a very moderate tempo. Like this, ha this song has not gotten like super fast or anything. It's actually kind of a jam. Um, and just the alternating time signatures, which, you know, classic. 
Um, this song just has like, it's almost like an emotional intensity to it. It's just, it's like a, a journey and you're kind of like weaving in and out of different places along the journey. Like, it's poking your head in like, oh shit, better not go in there. You know, and then it's like, oh shit, maybe I should check this out. You know, it's just, it's a weird thing. And um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know why words are coming out of my mouth. I don't know why I'm alive. I like watching this ginger video. I'm not making any sense. I'm not wearing any pants. Um, I'm a terrible vegan. I had a whole bucket of KFC today. I ate a whole jar of peanut butter last night. Hello. Make it with a spoon. I cried in the bathroom at work. And I talked to the floor. What am I doing? Oh yeah, so Ginger. God, I love Ginger. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna, the, the next few things I say are probably not gonna make any sense because I don't even know what I'm doing now, but I'm enjoying this. I'm sorry. drank her own shit. I mean, not shit, but you know what I mean. Anybody home? Well, that was, that was a great, great video, great song great visuals just great you know storyline told through the video it was like even without reading the lyrics you know i'm sure it actually has a more substantial meaning than what the video actually conveyed but the storyline to the video itself was pretty cool regardless if it like really completely matches the lyrics or not but i have a feeling it's close-knit enough that it gives it good weight like um i don't know what i'm saying or why but <sighs> i enjoyed that video the i want to watch that again i'm going to watch that a few more times um everything with i don't even know where to begin or how to describe it other than just phenomenal and magnificent i, I like what they i'm speculating on what i think they were trying to achieve but if they're trying to achieve what I'm assuming, then I think they did a phenomenal job. You know, it definitely, like I said, it had that whole Lost Girl kind of vibe to it, which was very cool. And the way that was filmed when she was doing, working her magic on his ass, like the, the blurred, like, zoom around, the that shit was cool it looked good they did a great job you know the, the the concept in general was just great the the interior decor of her little cottage in the woods was magnificent um I, I love the ginger symbol on the wall I like her little thing she was dipping in the in the smoky lit kool-aid but um it just god it was so so sad that she uh she drank her own potion at the end of the video she could have had another person like lined up ready to die turn into a little toy but that didn't happen she got a taste of her own medicine sadly but she looks she looks really good as like a gypsy witch I, I'm assuming that's what she was that's what I'm going with because that's what she looks like to me it's my opinion and to stand by it unless somebody tells me something else that sounds better then I will relinquish that opinion and hop on board with the one that sounds better
Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, that's cool. High five. If you uh, if you know what Patreon is and you think Patreon's cool, and you're like, hey, this guy sucks, but I bet if I join his Patreon, he'd be cool. Do it. I won't get mad. And, uh, you know, videos and stuff. Good people of the inner world.